I didn't like sitting on a horse, and I liked the strong arms around me keeping me on it even less. When I agreed to go to the Tehran Confederation to convince them that humans and thyers coexisted peacefully, I hadn't expected one of the unsettling warlords to accompany me. Truth be told, I liked Kendrix's company more than the Vandal leader, King Uters, but I would have preferred to go alone. Kendrix complicated things in ways I wasn't willing to admit to myself. He wasn't bad-looking. Oh, who was I kidding? He was drop-dead gorgeous. He was more ripped than any man I had ever seen. Taller, handsomer, more commanding, more everything. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't have said no to him. But these weren't normal circumstances. I was a prisoner, and he was my watchdog. That alone put us at odds. That he was overbearing and seemed to want to protect me only added to the irritation I felt toward him. I was also willing to bet that when he decided to accompany me, he hadn't considered that we wouldn't be able to talk to each other without Alana or Damaris around to translate. Alana and Damaris, I mused. Those two human ladies had surprised me, and not many people managed to do that. They didn't behave like I would have expected wives of warlords to behave at all. Not that I had given much thought to the behavior of the Thyers or the warlord's ladies when I left Earth. When I left Earth, it had been for a righteous cause which was my only focus, to save the humans on Thyre from Thyre enslavement and dominance. The warlords were dominant, there was no doubt about it. but. From what I had seen, they didn't lord it over anybody, dire or human. I clenched my jaw for the thousandth time since I had been captured by the vandals, a tick that was becoming a habit. Only the reason for it had changed. Where before I had been incensed about the vandals killing my squad and me having become the leader's prisoner, my jaw now clenched at the very thought of the Tehran Confederation betraying me. Hell, they betrayed all of us. Kendricks led the horse down a steep path, and I turned my gaze to the horizon instead of the steep drop ahead of us. I wasn't afraid of dying, but I was worried about falling off this stupid horse and breaking my bones, incapacitating me. I didn't even want to contemplate how the thyers would set a bone, since they didn't have any advanced healing capsules. At least, not that I knew of. Everything about them was primitive. 